How do you clean and care for your cycling kit? Well, it sounds simple, but cycling kit isn't cheap, especially the good quality stuff. So you want to make it last as long as possible. Now I know that I'm often guilty after a long wet ride of coming back, stripping off, sorting myself out, sorting out my bike and forgetting about my kit till the next morning. But cycling garments are technical pieces of gear, so therefore they do require some care. Surely all you need to do is chuck your kit in the machine and press start. Well, it isn't complicated, but there are a few rules to follow that will just help keep your kit smelling sweet and staying in good condition. Well, first off, try and wash your kit as soon as you can, because if you leave it sweaty or wet, then it gives bacteria time to multiply and it won't do the stitching any good either. And if it is pretty dirty, I tend to give it a little rinse first before putting it in the machine, mainly just to save my washing machine. But when I come back from a ride and I'm caked in mud, I tend to get changed in the shower just to avoid flicking mud all over the house. If you find that you've got any stains on your kit from mud or grease, avoid soaking it. I must admit it's something that I've been guilty of in the past, but instead find some mild degreaser, stick it on your kit and pop it straight in the machine. And now another tip, turn your kit inside out when you're washing it because it'll help get those areas that are next to your skin extra clean. For example, the chamois, and it'll also protect any logos or transfers that you might have on the outside. Try to wash only your cycling kit together as more coarse materials will cause unnecessary wear on your delicate kit. And the same goes for colours. You're best to avoid putting your navy jeans in with your favourite light coloured jersey because it's probably going to come out grey. And this reminds me, don't use detergent with whitener because it will be too harsh for your kit. So to wash your clothes, just use a mild detergent, avoiding any fabric softeners. And you will find that some manufacturers such as ASOS actually make a specific washing liquid for their garments, but a regular one should be fine. As tempting as it is to whack the temperature up to get that thorough clean of your kit, stick to 30 degrees centigrade or 86 Fahrenheit and put it on the gentle cycle option. And then the same goes for the spin, six to 800 RPM is ample. After all, your cycling kit is pretty quick drying. If you're abroad or staying the night away, you might not have access to a washing machine or even any detergent, but don't worry, rinsing your kit in the sink or the shower is certainly gonna be better than nothing. Well, shower gel will be the best substitute, but if you do only have a bar of soap, you're better off making soapy water with that first and try and avoid rubbing the bar directly on your kit as it is abrasive and it will add to the wear. Something I'm guilty of is using water that's too hot. If you don't have a washing machine, I used to think that the hotter the water, the cleaner your clothes are going to get. But remember, it's supposed to be 30 degrees. And actually, that's cooler than body temperature. To give you a rough idea, it's similar to a swimming pool. But washing your clothes in chlorine doesn't count. Well, once we're on the topic of hand washing, there are some things that are better off staying out of the machine. So always check the label and the care instructions. Well, outer garments such as your overshoes or your rain jacket, are probably not gonna get too sweaty, especially if you're wearing them in the winter, but they are likely to get rather muddy. So you're better off avoiding putting them in the machine a lot as that's not gonna do the waterproofing any good. Instead, just rinse them using the shower or the hose. And I personally actually wash off my bike in the winter and quite often rinse my overshoes whilst I'm still wearing them and sometimes even my jacket. But another tip, you could actually get into the shower with your jacket on, just make sure that the water's not too hot. Use a gentle spin in the machine, or if you're hand washing or rinsing, then squeeze out any of the excess moisture, but do avoid wringing your clothes out as this could potentially tear any stitches or distort the fabric. And then to dry, just find somewhere flat to lie it or hang it on something. Just make sure it's out of direct sunlight and not too close to a hot radiator. And whatever you do, avoid the tumble dryer, unless you want your kit to come out half the size that it went in. Researching this, I've actually learned a few tips. For example, if you don't sweat that much and you don't get any obvious dirt or mud on your top, then surely it's okay to wear it another day. One less wash has got to be beneficial to prolonging its wear. Well, apparently not. You need to wash your kit every day to make it last as long as possible. Rolling your wet kit up in a towel and giving it a twist will help get the moisture out, but it still counts as wringing out, so you're best to avoid it. You're better off wearing damp, but clean kit that's going to end up lasting much longer. And all kits the same, right? Check it in together and hope for the best. Well, actually you are better off checking the instructions as different products and manufacturers instructions will vary. Well, follow those tips and you should get more wear out of your cycling kit in the future. If you've enjoyed this and you wanna catch all of our videos at GTN, just hit the globe to subscribe. And if you wanna see a video that Mark and I did looking at our sweat rates for our recent triathlon training explained, that is just here 